Hello everyone! Welcome to a new unboxing video. Today I'm gonna unbox something special. It just got here from China. I've covered the sticker so you can see the data and everything. Something I didn't cover up, although is this. I don't know if you can see it, but there's a hair <laughs> under the tape. I think the seller wanted to ship part of himself over here to me. But anyway, that doesn't matter. What matters is inside the box. I ordered this from China and it got here much sooner than I expected, honestly. I wasn't thinking of making an unboxing video today, but apparently the post the post office worked excellently today. So anyway, let's open this up and we'll see what it is. Even the box it came in is much bigger than I initially thought it would be. Because this thing is supposed to be quite small, actually. I'm maybe going to speed this up a little bit because this is taking a bit of effort. Ah. There we go. As you can see already, <laughs> it's something really peculiar. Uh, oh my god, this is probably one of the hardest packets I've had to open yet. Uh, there we go, there we go. Easy does it. Here we are. 3 in 1 HD real time save function, okay? <laughs> That's something you want to write just here. <laughs> it's the main feature, the real time save function. Anyway, PGS, projector game console. I don't know why there's sports on the front, nothing on the back. So, as soon as I saw this for sale, I wanted to get it right away because I always thought this was it was gonna be it was gonna be something interesting. So included in gift box it's projector game console a power sub I mean sub power I don't know a joystick and a manual okay color we don't know I think I ordered black I hope it's black and here we have a brief key function introduction, I guess, to the unit itself and the controller, etc. So, what is this? I am slightly fixated with Famiclones and I decided to get this because it looks really interesting. It is basically a Famiclone built inside a small projector that you can hook up your controller to and play the games. The batteries go inside the controller and it's a self-powered unit. You don't need to to plug it in the mains, you don't need to plug into a computer to work or your TV necessarily. So you can basically in theory play everywhere you go whenever you want and project the thing on a wall and I thought it was amazing. I could be so obnoxious with everyone and just force them to watch what I'm playing everywhere I go. So anyway, let's open this up and see the thing itself. Here we go, projector game console. I'll take a look at these later. Now this this is the connector and ooh nice. It's the it's the right region as well so I could plug it into the mains if I really want to and not use the batteries. That's nice. We have the controller here two controllers. Wow, I didn't know it came with two controllers. Look at this. Very light controller there. Of course, Famicom controllers, so they kind of feel a bit cheap. Let's see. 
proper tactile feel. Honestly, the shape slightly reminds me of the Wu-Tang Clan weird ass fuckity fuck controller for PC, I think it was, or PlayStation, I don't remember. I'll put a picture up. It was kind of a weird controller, but anyway. So batteries go here. It needs two AAA batteries. And, and it's a USB controller. So maybe I could even be able to technically use it with my PC. Hey, I wonder if I can like put batteries in it? Plug the USB in my PC and power the PC through the controller. Yeah, no, that's not gonna work. But anyway, there's another one. And both have a space for the batteries on the back. I wonder if you need to put batteries in both controllers, but I don't think so. I think that just did that so you could use any of the two controllers to power up the thing. Now you may be thinking, this thing runs on just two AAA batteries, it's gonna be shit. It may be, I don't know honestly. We'll have to try it out. So anyway, this is the main dish right here. The main unit itself, oh it's blue. I thought I ordered the black one, maybe I didn't, I don't know, I don't remember. It's the blue one, but whatever. So, PGS, projector game system, you have the lens here for the projector. And the lens are fine, thank god. I checked one of the guys that bought this thing and had it arrived with the lens ruined or something. I hope mine are fine. This is I think this is the power switch, I'm not sure. No, this is the power switch on the side right here. So you can plug it in for current. It doesn't have a slot for battery, so you can only plug it in through that. I wonder if you indeed have to plug it in the current or... I wonder if you have to plug it in to make it work uh, regardless of the batteries in the controllers, I'm not sure at the moment. So, this is volume, control, on and off switch, and uh, adapter, so adapter slot, socket. So here are the two USB ports for the controllers, and this is a slot for a micro SD card. Now, I haven't really understood how this works, I thought you have, you should have an SD card in the package maybe, that has the games on it, then you can then put in the projector, I think. I don't know if it already has the games built in, regardless of this micro SD card slot, but anyway, this is th one of the main reasons, one of the other reasons I wanted to get this thing, because I wanted to understand if you could put, I don't know, extra ROMs or an SD card and plug it in here and then have it play more games than the one that are actually already built in, I don't know. We'll have to find out about all that. Nothing on this side. So yeah, this is basically it. And uh, we'll have to test it out and see how it works. And here we are. Here's the console in action. So as you can see, it has 180 games in it. Although, most of these games are not really that great, honestly. The selection is kind of poor. I mean, there's some good games. There's Super Conch 2. And Contra 2 plays pretty much the way you expect it to play. It's totally fine. Good old Contra. As you can see. The only thing though, I don't know if you can pick it up from the camera, but... The refresh rate on the screen, on the projector, is not that great, honestly. So when you move 
when this, the whole screen moves, the things get kind of wobbly. Although, it's not really that noticeable, but... I mean, it can be kind of a problem. But anyway, this game is fine. Now let me reset. Reset. Reset, please. Okay. So then, we got Super Contra 7. Super Contra 7, you may wonder, what the hell is that? It's a hack. It's Chinese hack of Super Contra. And uh, this one, on the other hand, is not that great of a game, honestly. It's kinda shitty. The music is not great. The controls are slow and sluggish and not responsive. And the level design is kind of bleh and cheap. This is definitely not recommended. But anyway, let's go back to the selection of games. Then we got Super Control! What is Super Control? It's Super Contra with some cheats built in. Like, you can start with 30 lives with the shotgun and loop gun, I don't know what, what that's supposed to be, or you can start the, your game directly at different stages. I mean, that could come in handy, but anyway. What else we have here? We have Super Mario Brothers which is pretty fine, it's the way you expect it to be, except for... Notice something, something wrong here. This is super fast! Too fast! Something wrong with the ROM here. So that goes way too fast. Then we have Super Mario 3. Which is just Super Mario Brothers 3. No, ju just 3. It's, this is 3, guys. That's it. And uh, except for the fuckery in the title screen, this works just fine, anyway. And that's good. I mean, this is a great game, you wouldn't want it to be fucked with. And this works alright. And let me say, these controllers are fine. The controller was just fine. You can especially tell on a game like this where you need precision. And I'm fucking up or whatever. That's just because I'm talking, I swear. So yeah. Super Mario Bros. 3 is fine. And then we have Super Mario 6. You might be saying, what? Super Mario 6? Super Brothers 6. Um, yeah. This is another hack. Unless this is some sort of weird collaboration between Warner Brothers and Nintendo, I mean. Yeah, this is Tiny Toons. But with Mario in them. Oh, no, never mind. No more Mario here, just any tunes now. Despite that, the game is fine. And the list goes on. We have uh, Super Mario 9, <laughs> which is just Adventure Island 3. And Super Mario 10, which is in fact Jackie Chan's action adventure. It's Kung Fu Mari, or Mary, I don't know. This just looks horrible. But apart from that, the gameplay is just fine. And then Super Mario 16, which is in fact Joe and Mac. And the list goes on. I mean, those are the more fucked up ones, then we got Adventure Island again, Double Dragon, Darkwing Duck, Ninja Gaiden 2 and 3, not 1, Power Blade 2, 
and uh, Turtles, Street Fighter, which is some kind of Chinese fuckery, Hammer and Harry, Sumitoro, which is Mitsumagatoro, this is a uh, Free Eyed Boy, Rekka, Snow Brothers, Shadowhand, and then this Angry Bird shit. <laughs> And then we go on with some good titles here and there, there's Ship and Dale, there's Clue Clue Land, 1942, some older titles. But I mean, the selection here is not really that great, I mean we got Donkey Kong and Joust, that's fine. And Load Runner. But yeah, this is pretty much it. So, last few words on this thing, it works alright, although it's not really the best thing ever. I mean, uh, the output is fine, but the refresh rate of the video is not that great. Uh, it can be seen perfectly alright, although it gets a, lit a little blurry and darker on, around the edges of the screen. You can focus the video by turning the lens here and uh, it pretty much you get a fine image up to like three meters of distance from the projector. As far as the game goes the games are the worst part of this honestly because if the games included were nice this could save itself. I mean the best thing about it is that it has two USB ports and you can play with uh, two people and the controllers are pretty nice Although, I really wish the D-pad was a solid piece and it didn't have the spaces in between. And the buttons are kind of weird because they're basically B, A, A and B. I thought these would be the turbo buttons, but they're not. They're not turbo buttons, so I don't know what they were doing. And uh, the fact that the, um, the batteries don't actually work, I mean, you can't put batteries in the controllers like I thought so you pretty much have to hook it up to the to the mains to the electrical current with the adapter to make it work so you can't really bring it everywhere and you can't really bring it outside as I initially thought and uh, the micro SD card slot on the back is pretty much useless because I tried to use it and try to see if this thing could read micro SD cards and it actually can't. I mean you can plug in the SD card, I mean at the beginning I was trying to plug it in and it wouldn't fit and then I realized you have to plug it in upside down so it clicked and it went in and when I played it I had just put some stuff on it, some random stuff just to see if it could check out what was inside and when you play it on TV it basically changes the the games included to another set of games they, there's probably like just a switch that you push when you put the card in and you activate another set of ROMs like a 32 in 1 card or something like that and they're even worse games than the one than the main ones that are included so it's basically useless Furthermore, when I tried to remove the microSD card, I almost burned myself because the card was blazing hot. It was heating up so bad inside the thing. I'm glad I turned it off pretty much right away and removed the card because if I'd left the card in there for more than say 5 minutes, it would probably melted inside and maybe ruin the, the thing or something. So this is a total garbage and is not recommended for use. I mean the slot, not the console itself. The console itself is pretty nice, but eh, not quite, for so many reasons. Is it recommended? I don't think so. For as much as I like it, because it's really weird, the fact that, it, that it's a projector and the fact that the projector kind of sort of works properly, this is really uh, a huge collection of badly executed ideas, although kind of good ideas, but not very well executed. So, here we are, and uh, see you next time for another review.